Hi, I'm Robin Starr, the head of the American and European Fine Arts Department. I thought today we'd talk about George Bellows' prints. At the beginning of the 20th century, there was a real renaissance of American printmaking, and George Bellows, one of the youngest Ashcan school artists, was right at the forefront. He began making lithographs in 1916, and his subjects were extremely broad. Everything from scenes of his domestic life, including summers spent by the shore, scenes of figure studies and nudes, scenes of tennis matches and beautiful homes, but perhaps he's best known for his boxing scenes. His boxing scenes are the most popular in the market currently, and they're varied. They're also intensely detailed. One of his earliest boxing prints, called Preliminaries to the Big Bout of 1916, features a group of well-heeled men and women uh, heading into Madison Square Garden to watch a series of fights. It's one of the few boxing prints where women are even present, and in fact, uh, in the center of the composition, one of the main figures, a female, stares out at us to draw us into the scene. But Bellow's prints of boxing were not just general images. They were usually very specific bouts. His print between rounds features boxer Jimmy Nolan, who's collapsed onto his stool between rounds. And meanwhile, in the background, Tornado Black looks on uh, at the exhausted Jimmy Nolan. Jimmy had previously lost a fight to Black, and shortly thereafter, the story goes, he'd also lost his wife to Black. The What Great White Hope of 1921 features a very well-known bout between heavyweight champion Jack Johnson and Jim Jeffries, the so-called White Hope, who slumps to the mat in defeat. The subject matters of Bellows's prints are widely varied, and it's one of the many aspects that makes them exciting.